David A. Auker, Brand Leadership, Building Assets in an Information Economy. Welcome to the summary of A Brand Leadership, Building Assets in an Information Economy by David A. Auker. This book brings to light the crucial role of brand leadership in today's complex marketing environments and competitive pressures. With a special emphasis on the differences between classic brand management and brand leadership, this summary covers essential strategic insights that will help elevate your brand strategy. Key themes include brand identity, brand building programs, communication techniques, and brand architecture, as well as the significance of tailoring your brand to specific channels and markets. Delve into this instructive and engaging summary to learn how to take your brand management to new heights. From Brand Management to Brand Leadership The complexity of global marketing, competitive pressures, and various other factors are driving companies to raise their brand management game to the level of brand leadership. In contrast to tactical and reactive brand management, this approach has a strategic and visionary perspective. Brand leadership focuses on brand equity measures and uses complex brand architecture across multiple products and markets. It promotes global brands that communicate internally and externally and is driven by brand identity. Furthermore, companies must ensure that their brand strategy follows their business strategy and that they don't make promises they can't keep. Ultimately, customers are willing to pay for a brand that represents quality, making brand identity a viable alternative to price-based competition. Brand Building 101 the importance of brand identity and building brand building programs are crucial aspects of all successful branding strategies. The summary highlights the four components of brand building programs, which go beyond advertising and includes promotions, packaging, direct marketing, sponsorships, and more. It emphasizes the significance of brand position as part of the brand identity and value proposition, which actively communicates to the target audience to gain an advantage over competitors. The core brand identity is also discussed and how it must always shine through and be executed brilliantly to create a cumulative impact over time. The brand is and brand does approaches are also differentiated, with the emotional identity being the focus of the latter. Examples of brands using both strategies include Volkswagen, BMW, Pepsi, and Nike, among others. Finally, the importance of tracking brand building programs is emphasized, enabling the measurement of progress and any problems encountered. The Art of Brand Architecture Learn the crucial elements of utilizing brands to enhance the overall identity of a company. Brand architecture plays a vital role in how a company presents its products. Getting it right can increase leverage and help establish a brand identity. The book suggests answering core issues such as how to make brands relate to each other, how much can a brand stretch, and what roles should they play within the overall system. Strong brands can be used to create sub-brands and endorsed brands. General Electric GE, uses vertical brand architecture to target different market segments of its appliances. From the highest to the lowest end of the market, GE Monogram is for designers slash architects, GE Profile is for high-income consumers, GE Appliances is for quality seekers, and Hotpoint is for value seekers. Fragrance and clothing companies like L'Oreal use different brands to target specific upscale retailers, department stores, and discount stores. The book suggests that creating a successful brand identity requires communication and brand building programs, which help implement and define the brand identity. It is important to ensure brilliant execution through the right tools, which could include more than just advertising. In an ideal situation, having a single brand identity that works across products and markets is desirable. Coca-Cola has long used a core identity across segments and countries. However, a brand should not detract from or harm the product by bringing to mind an unappealing association. Marketers hope that wherever the brand goes, it enhances the product and does not affect it negatively. In summary, the book stresses the importance of getting brand architecture right and utilizing it to establish a brand identity. The core issues of brand architecture must be addressed and brilliant execution requires the right communication tools.
Having one brand identity that works across products and markets is desirable, but marketers must ensure the brand does not affect the product negatively. Effective Brand Building Through Sponsorship Sponsorship is a popular and efficient means of building brand identity by mobilizing the organization, creating brand exposure, and developing brand associations with events and causes. However, sponsorship effectiveness largely depends on reinforcement through advertising, signage, and other measures. While sponsorships offer advantages to organizations, they also have drawbacks, such as low brand recall among consumers and expenses. Nonetheless, the benefits of sponsorship can outweigh the drawbacks, especially if the brand association with an event is consistent and continuous. To optimize brand association, companies sometimes create their own events, allowing them to attach their brand to an event title. By understanding the nuances of sponsorship, organizations can strategically leverage sponsorships to build their brand and create customer loyalty. Maximizing the power of brand building websites. A comprehensive website delivers value and differentiates the brand. It supports brand loyalty and becomes a reliable source of information. Flagship stores can be used to create a brand concept with vitality and give it a tangible presence. Unique promotions such as finding the customer's sweet spot can create a deeper relationship between product and consumer. With brand leadership, companies can create a bond with their customers that will shape their lives beyond product purchasing. In conclusion, David A. Ocker's Brand Leadership, Building Assets in an Information Economy, highlights the immense importance of strategic brand leadership in today's rapidly evolving markets. The book emphasizes the transition from tactical brand management to a more strategic, visionary approach that is better suited for handling changes in marketing environments and competitive pressures. As you've seen throughout this summary, implementing a strong brand identity, creating effective brand building programs, and mastering various communication techniques all contribute to effective brand leadership. Understanding these concepts and adapting them to your own brand strategy will help you strengthen your brand, forge long-lasting relationships with your customers, and ultimately create enduring value in an increasingly crowded marketplace.